New at 6 o'clock, fresh perspective on Greensboro police body cam footage showing the shooting death of 17 year old Nisanto Crenshaw. The shooting happened last August and tonight for the first time since the video was released, we're hearing from the Crenshaw family attorney. A retired sheriff's deputy is also weighing in on what he sees in the video. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake is breaking down their takeaways from this footage. Get on the ground. This body cam footage. Get on the ground, do it now! is at the center of a deadly shooting involving a Greensboro police officer. He ran at me with the car. I think he handled it very, very well. He violated their use of force policy about shooting to a moving vehicle. Two very different interpretations on what happened the night of August 21st, 2022. Attorneys for DeSanto Crenshaw's family watched the footage before it was released to the public. Any other citizen that would have made these uh, communities acts, they would have been charged that night by the police. You know, I guess it goes different when a person have a badge on it. The Crenshaw family lawyer said the footage shows Crenshaw trying to drive around the officer. Former Sheriff's Deputy Randy Powers also watched the videos. From his perspective, he says the officer did what he was trained to do. Your job as a law enforcement officer is to protect the public. And if these people have become a, uh, a problem or they're going to cause other people to be hurt, then the police officer has to do what he's got to do to get the car stopped. The SBI took over the investigation and presented its findings to the Guilford County District Attorney. The DA decided charges will not be filed against the officer. It's a third party investigation. Everything checked off perfect. I do not see anything that went wrong that should have uh, been different. The state of the Attorney General office cannot usurp or take the authority away from the, uh, the district attorney in North Carolina. That is very problematic because essentially a DA can decide who get charged or not. Now here are three things to remember. The Greensboro Police Department is now conducting its own internal investigation to see if department policies were followed. The officer will remain on administrative duty until GPD's internal investigation is complete. And lastly, Nisanto Crenshaw's family filed a federal civil lawsuit against the officer in city of Greensboro. They're seeking compensation in connection to Crenshaw's death.